guess who has enough eggs to make the world's giant omelets? Uh, not us. But we had found the eggshells from uh, that competition, so let's give it to the siren so that they become pissed at the Micon and join us. Seems logical. So this is what a reasonable person would do. <sighs> oh, I am getting horrible flashbacks, I guess you call them. The next video is a doozy, but for now, let's just meet with the Sabine and uh, hope things turn out for the best. So they don't. They do not. Uh, I'm You'll see it. You'll... Oh no, you will, hopefully you won't see it, because that would be very boring for you. Not very fun. But uh, hopefully you'll get a vague idea of what's going to happen in the next video. Just a vague one. It's pretty obvious. <sighs> First we got to get to the next video, which means you got to go talk to the side. Because this game wasn't Star trek -y enough. Is that word Star trek -y? Who cares? Welcome back, Earthling. Yo. What do you wish of us? Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> no other option. I think so. Aren't they part of the Mycon religion somehow? We have recordings of Mycon hyperwave transmissions from the war. Pretty weird stuff. The Mycons just kind hey, of ramble. Hey, maybe that's why I like the Mycon so much. We're ramble buddies. Deep children and spirits. Uh, deep of children, spirits of light, yada yada yada. Light of Jekyll will play soon. Yes. What? What did you say? Human, you had better not be joking. Sire Never joke is not around. A subject uh, for Earth humor. Now, what do you mean, Shattered Time Cross? Uh, I cannot pronounce her name right now. Is what happens to Whatever. Sarah. Yes. But we presumed it was a natural cataclysm, a meteor. Do you have proof that it was something else? These deep children? Rough. Let me see oh, yeah. proof, Captain. Great gods! These fragments, they are identical okay. to the debris we found near the punctures on Syrah. Mystery solved. That was, uh, might be it's a great detective work, guys. To have survived re-entry, nothing organic would remain. Unless, unless the oomgout pulling another one of their pranks. And oh, only the I guess the Mycons can this do that stuff, too. The Mycons but, uh, will pay dearly for their no crimes. need to... We will not nice. sit here Good. and do nothing. I guess Micon do have the their capabilities to be dicks, but uh, they're not so bad, I guess. Or they're less dickish, or they're crazy, and it's hard to be a dick for them. Yes, we'll help you destroy them. Now we're gonna go slightly nice route, I guess. We have some fine starship I'm pretty sure these two hook up anyway. Zelnik and the Mycons, Sirene Commander, whose name I'll never be able to pronounce. Totally ineffectual. Right, so the spaceships are named the Penetrator. Space Patrol combat fleet. Yes, we they they look the exactly what you're thinking of. Well, not exactly. They never waste anything. It's but we believe less obvious, they have but... sealed them in some kind of deep vault in the surface uh, of the Earth. You'll see them planet. someday. No. Mind you, I have no idea why I'd use them, because as far as I know, they're only good against the... Spathy. I'm sure they're good against other ships, but Spathy were the main ones I was planning to use them on. And of course, the Spathy are all cowards, and uh, never attacked them. And lowered their ships into the uh, mind you, they do have like large troop to the complements, so I guess I'll use them as crew batteries or something. The outside world. Could be useful, might be a as couple of aliens. Could tell, the sun was either red or I could use them against. They have they some, they have a neat ability that would be very helpful. Oh, 200, 200 hyperspace, hyperspace distance, distance units. units. 
Captain. Oh. We've assembled a small team of oh, this skilled is... officers. Needle in a haystack. This... Ship on board their own small shuttle. We feel that in I mean, not yet. It's 200 hyperians. Probably going to be around that. But... The mission is over. As soon as you arrive at the vault, bloody. We'll take over. Uh... Figure out a way to open the vault and bring our penetrators back here. It's. Uh, I really want to do that. Uh, but no, we're going to be slightly nice. Nice guys always got the girls in the end. Apparently. Probably not in real life, but... <laughs> not in real life. But, this is a video game, so... Um... Yes, uh... Camel blah 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 blah. I have no idea how to pronounce it, but let's just say it's pretty much within the 200 hyper distance unit range. So I'm hoping that it will be, uh, they'll contain the Siren Penetrators. Plus, there's like a quad space portal, which spits you out like right outside the, uh, outside the system. So, uh, if that's not a big indication of plockiness, then I don't know what it is. Well, it's, it's, yeah, it's here right in the middle, and it's like separated from everything, and it's perfectly 200 almost. If, if it's not in here, then my entire life is a lie. Not really, but... She said red or orange, right? Well, just... There's some red plants, sort of. And, of course, the earth one. But, bugger the earth one. We've got penetrators to get. And, of course, set penetrators are not on this bloody planet. Oh, and as far as this next one, right on a tail. <sighs> Hi, Urquan. No huggles for you today. Oh, you aren't the one who wants the huggles, anyway. Something wrong here. Something which makes my sheep to attract to the sheep that wants to poison them. I sense the ugliness of a thousand ah, evil thoughts. Uh, and I have located the Still source going of through a rough time right now, and, uh, yeah, no, it's Larry, the talking pet. Oh, hey, I remember his name. Larry. Well, his name I gave him. And... I got the feeling that there's a glitch or something, and... Iroquan's giving us as many welcoming messages as... possible. Three of them to be precise. But, um... No. Bye bye, we'll just go kill you. Yes, disobedience will be tolerate. not be tolerated. And shall be punished. Yep, uh, I don't imagine that the Vindicator is a frickin' machine. Cause uh, I'm pretty sure I did. Especially against these green uh, Urquan vessels. Cause Let's face it, the green Urquan, their uh, dreadnoughts are on the wrong side of usefulness. Victory Waggle. Um, have I talked about the dreadnoughts yet? No clue. Uh, they got fighters. Obviously. That's... That's the only thing that makes them good. Well, their weapon, it does 6 damage, fires rapidly, and they got a huge frickin' battery to, uh... Spew, but... It's pretty short range. That's if fusion blast was longer, they'd be pretty good, but right now, nah. Oh, and uh yes. They're slow and frickin' I well not slow, they're just they can't it's hard for them to get in range. Sorry as you blast me, yeah, it's hard it's kinda hard for them to get in range with the fusion blast. They do a lot of damage, especially against faster people. And the secondary, as I mentioned, is the fighters, which are pretty lame. They take a uh, 
some energy to launch, but uh, more importantly, one crew. So of course, if that fire gets shot down or runs into an asteroid, then, uh, well, there's one crew man for down. And fighters are really vulnerable and weak. So, uh, long, so, well, long story short, the dreadnoughts kind of don't want to say overpriced. What's what I'm looking for? Overhyped. They're yes, overhyped is the word. They're could be better. Much better actually. I mean the Korra, their ships are freaking awesome. Well, they're freaking awesome for them. The AI has a bit of trouble with uh, piloting them, I guess. So I will admit they are balanced, like the AI finding itself with the Korra Mirapon. Oh, this is Kazurza, I guess you could call them. The AI is the battle is really close. I mean sometimes the uh Green Earthbond will have their waves of fighters and just surround the black ships and tunnel them to death because once the fighter like once a fighter swarm surrounds the enemy vessel, the Korra vessel, that's pretty much the end of it. Of course Korra has like their fiery ring of death thing available, but the AI wastes the battery like crazy and uh, if there's a swarm of fighters around it, obviously it does have no power left. And no time to recharge the battery either, because it takes them a long time, and a fighter swarm... A fighter swarm kills it pretty quickly. But sometimes the um, green arquanas get really stupid, and their fighter swarms run into the uh, saw blades, and the fried things are in asteroids and planets, and pretty much everything. And of course, with no not very fast ships and uh, short range weapon against long range ship they have no chance. Of course sometimes the uh, Korra ships get lucky and manage to land a couple of shots that destroy the Urquan ways to have a fight and fight your swarm out. Ah, uh, more piss. But yeah. But as I mentioned before, in the hands of a semi competent player well not competent. Overall, we're not concerned the AI, the Dreadnought is mediocre. Which is a shame, I guess, but, uh, back to life. Ah, uh, well, at the very least, the Vindicator. Vindicator's awesome. We got uh, all those targeting modules, we got maximum furnaces, we got the Hellbore Cannon, or Hellbore Cannon, yes. So we can do tons of damage, sort of, mostly based on regen, but uh, we're no slug when it comes to going fast. Really, I think the Vindicator is the strongest ship we have, period. Probably win every fight with him now. It. No, her. Or it. Is it a he or is it an it or a she? I guess we'll call it an it. The Vindicator, yes. Most. Uh, not even sure. No. I do know why we have the other ships in our fleet. Because they are crew batteries. It's the only reason they hold crew for when the Vindicator gets low on crew. 99% of the time, that's all they're there for. I mean, the Ari Lu and... I guess the Earthling... Cruiser. And of course, Fufo. Gotta love Fufo. Yes, they're all... Useful, but only against certain aliens. Whereas the Vindicator is great against everybody. So far. But... I don't really see an alien vessel that could compare or compete with it. It's just that amazing. All those years, well, months of mining have finally paid off. We have a freaking awesome battleship capable of killing everything. I'm proud of that. Oh, yes, this is, uh, 
So you notice sometimes the AI gets stupid, decides to turn around for no reason whatsoever. And uh, very easy to just turn around and uh, give them an old cherry tap with the uh, point defense lasers. I uh, do it quite a bit. Not always the brightest idea, but it's fun. And a bit silly. But mostly just a human Asian thing because uh, we're going to be killing lots of the Urquan next video. Yeah, spoilers, we'll be fighting Urquan next video. Lots and lots of Urquan of both types, not just the green guys yet. Cherry tap in. Oh. I guess I didn't have it. This is before I have the thing, uh, cherry tapping thing ready. Yeah, and that's me being stupid. Expect that to happen up here a bit. Uh, whatever. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. And another one bites, and another one bites, and another one bites the dust. <sighs> I hate these videos, there's nothing to talk about besides, you know, oh hey, we're gonna be looking for, a uh, X, we're in X's on some planet, we have no freaking clue where it is, so, uh, have fun, I mean, but not actually all that fun to play either, <laughs> let's not lie, they're, they're, they're the worst sections of Star Control 2, I think. But just randomly flying around hoping that you encounter something. Oh, maybe, um, Greenish knows where the siren ships are. That's, um, that's always an option, I guess. We do have lots of RUs, and I guess that would be part of the historical package or whatever. Yeah. Oh. Maybe, maybe things aren't so crappy. <sighs> and then I remember next video. <sighs> Whatever, what other uh, places are I gonna visit? Oh, this is, yeah, this is... here's a tip for all you sparring commanders out there. Do not fight in hyperspace with the Urquan. It is pain incarnate, because the two of them overlap, and of course the game is stupid and just spawns, like, the limit for spawning is, the, is, there's two different limits for spawning, one for the black ones and one for the green ones, so of course you get twice as many ships, which means you get stun, well not stun locked, you get combat locked until you murder scores of Urquan and the frickin... Okay, maybe not scores, but... Score, maybe. <sighs> Long story short... Cherry tab... Ah, no cherry tabbing. Long story short... The next video sucks. <sighs> Pretty much spoiling the plot a bit right here. Whatever. I'll spoil the plot a bit in the next video. Uh, have more fun watching it than I did playing it. Uh.